All right, internet historian, the fall of 76. All right, this was highly requested by chat, being that I just looked into Fallout lore. Uh, and apparently this is gonna blow my mind and it's incredible and awesome. All right, let's see what we got. Let's see what we're doing here. Let's see what we have here. I, I haven't watched a lot of internet historian videos in the past, so I don't know what I'm getting into, but I feel like, <laughs> I feel like this is gonna be insane. No, the Bethesda ruins, no. What family member was kidnapped now that you must uh, depart on some crazy adventure to find? The Fallout of 76. Dude, the fall of 76? Why, was this game launched like a disaster or something? Is that, is that the gimmick? If you found this tape, it means that everyone is dead. No! Wait, no more social anxiety? Yeah! Or working at a different office. Ah! <laughs> I can live with that. How did this happen? Well, I'll tell you. Buckle up, buckaroos. Today's lesson is the misfired launch of Fallout 76. Oh god, it's the bad it is a bad launch. Oh no, oh no! Dude, why is it always the games with the good lores that get the bad launches and everyone remembers them for their terrible launches, bro? Like, no one will ever respect Cyberpunk 70... 2077 just by how bad their launch was. June 2018. All right. It began with everyone getting just a little hyped up. This <laughs> is every video game ever. Have we waited long enough, guys? Oh, God, yes, we have, Todd. I think we have. Fallout 76, Bethesda's biggest game yet. My God, it was exciting. And they promised we'd know more at E3. E3 hype time. The press conference. Oh my god. Dude, it's just cyberpunk all over again. <laughs> ah, it's cyberpunk all over again. The hype. No, the hype. 16 times the detail. 16 times the detail. All new rendering, lighting, and landscape technology. That all sounds so good. Oh no. Oh, dude, I hate watching people's dreams die. <laughs> That was a lie. It's so much fun watching people's dreams die. It's, it's so unhealthy. I hate that I like it. Four times. That, that lady that's cheering, she's going to be so unhappy when the game comes out. Oh, I feel so bad. But goddamn, is it funny. Times the map size. It is four times the size of Fallout 4. Oh my god, it's four times the size. They are going to be so disappointed. Oh, this guy's day is going to be ruined when the game comes out. And I am enjoying it! Does that make me a bad person? And it's our biggest one yet. My god, it was exciting. Oh, that guy, he's gonna he's gonna get so upset. Yeah. Oh god, poor Todd Howard. I'm ready. November 14th, 2018. I'm ready, I'm ready. The game goes live. Oh shit! With a day one patch of 50 gigabytes. That's a big fucking game. For fuck's sake, I'll see you tomorrow. But once that's downloaded, he- No shot, it looked like this. Oh my god, there's no way. <gasps> no way you looked like this. Start logging into the hellscape that is Fallout 70. Oh my god. Six. And oh dear lord, they never fix the bugs. Um. And there are so many of them. Goodbye world. Goodbye necks. No! <laughs> Goodbye body. What the fuck? Goodbye head. <laughs> Nightmare fuels. Bugs, bugs, bugs everywhere. Server crashes, game crashes, ah. old bugs imported from four. This is the worst thing I've ever seen. Holy shit. This is Scarlet and Violet on crack. Pull out four. Use more than one nuke at a time. Um. Server's dead. Texture's far too texturous and all consuming void. Airlock 307. Can't pick up stuff. Can't stop asserting dominance with a T pose. <laughs> Frame rate problems. Screen tip. <laughs> This is so bad. It's cartoonishly bad. Dude, how did they not know what they were releasing? How did they not try it themselves? How did they not give it to one of their employees and be like, hey, Tim, you want to just log on and see what it looks like before we launch it to the world after hyping it up for all these years? Yeah, problems. Getting too swole. Getting underneath the map. Getting attacked by invisible enemies. Spawning too many enemies. It kind of speaks for itself. Spawning too many god rays. Also, your camp resets after every session, and sometimes it goes underwater. Holotech to randomly play static, but too many holotapes mean none of them will play. Oh my god, this is a nightmare. Holy fuck. Enemy AI is far more A <laughs> than I. No! No! 
Hey, oh my god, this is what Mama Max's lawyer looks like, by the way. Animations are broken, surprise, floating objects, and a traveling merchant. Just to name a few. Thanks for just naming a few. Bro, that's all bad. It just works. It just works. Chad, what are you saying? Joseph Anson has a great video that documents just the ones that he found personally. That The 1001 glitches of Fallout 76. <gasps> Is someone, can you imagine making a video like that? No shot, it's a game that was 80 bucks with in-game purchases, oh my video lord. Video is three hours long. This is so sad. This is a nightmare. Um, but it gets worse. The, the Fallout was the, the Fallout you had along the way. The Nuclear War was the, uh, the fucking game that you... <laughs> you wanted to really simulate what an apocalypse looked like, bro. EE348780. No! They corrupt your data and force you to reinstall the game and console operating system. And it's 50 gig! A few PC players had their computers brick entirely. Also, when the date rolled over to the 1st of January to- Why am I enjoying this? I'm such a bad person! Do you have any idea how many t people were looking forward to this game that their hopes and dreams were destroyed? This game was the literal bomb. In so many ways. Their dreams were destroyed and I am enjoying it! Am I a bad person? Tell me, chat, that are also my therapists. 2019, um, the nukes in the game stopped working altogether. Nice. No one thought it prudent to program in other years in an always online game. And a few players were straight up logging into other people's accounts. How the fuck do you do that? This guy had a level 78 character that was randomly replaced with a level 8 character. No! <laughs> God damn it! Every ma Dude, this is like... Welcome to Fallout 76, endless possibilities. We've come up with more ways to fuck up your gameplay than you could possibly think of. Bethesda said they couldn't do anything about it. <laughs> and many players are not thrilled with this game and they want Bethesda to know that. And they want everyone else to know that too. Oh, this is awesome. But Bethesda owns the platform. Is Fallout 76 fun? Yes, it is. Banned for- <laughs> Banned for racism. Oh my god, dude! This is better than sex. People's hopes and dreams getting crushed and I am enjoying it. God damn it, chat! Why are you as psychotic as I am? You are supposed to say bad streamer, don't enjoy their downfall and suffering. How would you like it if this happened to something that you enjoyed? Well, I'd suffer and hopefully someone else would be able to enjoy it. Chat, the way I see it is the following. This happened. People's hopes and dreams were destroyed. Why should I suffer too? I let, let at least my enjoyment of the tragedy be the little light in the darkness. All right, we're turning this into some inspiring shit instead of the fact that I'm a sociopath. The racism, threadlocked. They had no direct outlet for their rage. Oh no. The only the solution rage. was to put a torch to everything else. Reddit, Twitter, Bethesda's other games on Steam. That's crazy. That's insane. Bro, I, I... <laughs> They dropped hate comments on other games because their own ones were getting deleted, dude. I, listen, I'm just saying. I dropped on. I went on two separate accounts. I dropped one uh, positive comment and one negative comment on Sniper Wolf's latest video. All right, let's just see. I'm just saying. Hello, friends. Oh God, don't talk! Don't talk, woman. Woman, silence. That was terrifying. Uh, but dude, I'm just saying. Let's go. We sort by newest. We sort by newest. Let's see. Let's see. It's been a. It's been an hour and, and a half or so. Let's see. All right, we got this comment here. The positive comment stayed. The negative comment's deleted. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I just said. The backlash. I guess the message here is that we have to start start dropping negative comments on other videos. Was immense. But surely level heads would prevail. The reviewers would come out and say that the game isn't so bad. Oh dear lord, they hate it. Oh my god, dude, no. No! Not even the, not even the, the game journalists that are paid to positively talk about your game are talking about your game positively. No! This is so sad. Despacito, play Country Roads. Okay, that joke, I guess, must have worked in whatever, how, how, how old is this video? Yeah, four years ago, that meme must have been hilarious. Despacito play country roads. Yeah, that one's not dated. No, sheer clear of this. 
Steer clear of this country road. Mutually assured boredom. No. Almost. If you gave it a five, you fucking degenerate piece of shit game journalist. And I'm not. How can you trust anyone that gave this a five out of ten? A five out of ten for an eighty dollar game that that was literally unplayable. You gave it a five. Heaven. <laughs> West Virginia. Almost hell, West Virginia. Blue Ridge Mountains, Shenandoah River. And the YouTube community had this to say. It's really fucking boring. <laughs> Could barely bring myself to play it in order to finish this review. No one on staff wants- That's rough. That's rough, dude. Wants to play any more of this video game. I'm not gonna subject myself to another 20, 30 hours of this fucking... Dude, they, they want you to know what it's like to live in a fucking nuclear wasteland. Shit doesn't make sense. Nothing's the way you expect it. Things don't work the way you're supposed to do. You probably have erectile dysfunction. Bro, this is what it's like in a nuclear wasteland. Shit's boring! Yeah! Civilization was wiped out, motherfucker! <laughs> and they want you to feel that! I'm sorry. Mess. In short, Fallout 76 is morally, technically, and creatively bankrupt. The mods on Bethesda forums were working overtime. The mods on Reddit almost gave up. No. Look, I'm not saying that some people didn't enjoy and have fun with this game. But what I am saying they're probably lying. is that the Metacritic was really funny to read. So what happened? Well, right, it came go. out that developed. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Let's get the let's get the actual uh, TLDR. Let, let's get the lore. Well, well, how did this happen? How does a massive company mess up this badly? Development was hugely rushed. The deadlines were tight. What is this art? Okay. Two died <laughs> no all right dude plus this wasn't bethesda's a team it's actually a relatively inexperienced division based in austin and the scope of the game kept getting bigger we're gonna yeah that's not an excuse uh with all due respect not an excuse and need distant weather systems hey todd i stayed up all night and i just we're finished we're gonna the need 16 times the detail please oh, todd no. No more. We're gonna need four no. times the size. Stop! No! No! Of Fallout 4. That and they were trying to patchwork the old Bethesda creation engine into a multiplayer framework. What else could you expect? That's why I give my kids Fallout 76. The fool. <laughs> Okay. Now, Bethesda could tolerate the bugs and the bad reviews and the irate players, but what they couldn't tolerate were the exploits. Um, infinite inventory. Infinite. Oh my god, dude. Turns out when your game is a, is an awful mess <laughs> that's broken to shit, the players will find a way to break it more. Infinite invisibility. The frame rate was tied to the game speed, so people were going a lot faster than they should. Server hopping for more items, infinite cash, and infinite duplication, unlimited XP. And this is what bothered them? They gave them a completely broken game, and then they broke it more, and they got upset? How dare you? Unlimited nuking. The nuclear codes uh, were unencrypted and you could wall clip into the quest room. And someone was given the curse. You could wall clip past the lock. Can, do you, can you imagine playing Dark Souls and you could just wall clip right up to the final boss? Dude, what is that? It's of infinite infinite. That's your own fault. Stability. Naturally, <laughs> this can- Stability. Bro. He was playing Fallout 76 and he clipped into Mario Kart where he got a golden star. Suddenly, a rainbow sign appeared and it went. And none of the mutants were able to harm him. And really mess with other players' online experience. So Bethesda was ready with the ban hammer. This just works. And a blindfold to oh, what? It just works. It just works! Wildly flail around and take down anyone who happened by. But Bethesda wasn't satisfied with just banning people. No, they're a progressive company ah, with big ideas. They ban men, women, and black people. They wanted to give a road to redemption. So support sent out this email to players caught cheating. This poor guy. We would be willing to accept an essay on what- There's no shot they wanted streamer fucking lobotomite ban unban requests why the use of third-party cheat software is detrimental to an online game community they wanted an essay as to why well i was thinking about
out my mistakes that I have made, and I have come to the conclusion that I was in fact wrong. I was a fool to think that I could use the game exploit. That's right. 500 words on why you're a very naughty boy, and they may just give you your account back. Right, you need Sniper Wolf's fucking writing team to come up with some shit like that. Or she could watch a, t a one second long TikTok and talk for three minutes about in the most condescending as fuck way she can sit there for three minutes and repeat the same line 14 different ways but a couple of days later the mocking from news outlets called never changes i guess them to reconsider this oh. approach yeah, well. one more exploit in all the bethesda games there's a dev room every item in the game is kept here security has to be top notch because otherwise someone could just waltz in and take all of the best items oh. of the game and it would be an absolute disaster well shit of course, Bethesda wasn't That's equipped crazy. to deal with the issue. Yeah. People started flooding in, taking the best items in the game, then selling those items on a black market of sorts. <laughs> Respect, baby! Respect! Bro, you have made the ultimate simulation of a nuclear apocalypse. Bro! This is the ultimate simulation. It's a broken, boring-ass world that could be exploited by the people that are willing to break the laws to do it. They're willing to break some ethical boundaries and guidelines. And, yeah, they're gonna take advantage. At first, they tried the usual approach. Banning people who had some of the best items in the game. You That's an awful approach because they probably spent money buying it on the black market. Spent 700 hours just to get the best gun. Oh my god, dude. Fallout 76 players spent 900 hours in-game. Says they've been banned because they had the best loot, so they probably cheated. This is the worst situation I've ever heard of in my life. Holy fuck. Die, cheater. Next, they put in a system where players would get tagged if they ever entered the room and they banned those players. That wasn't much better because people would just start using Smurf accounts. Get in quick with a level one account. You get in quick with the level one account, then you trade it all to your other account, then the Smurf account gets banned. This is such a bad method. Get all that good shit, then get the fuck out. Then use a duplication glitch to get a ton more of those items. Then transfer that stuff to your main account and you're good yep. to go. Bethesda then takes out this level 1 and calls it mission accomplished. And you've just beaten the game. So the problem continued. Oh my Bethesda god, is this is incredible, dude! Oh my god, it's a nightmare! This is an actual nightmare! How could they release a game like this? Running out of ideas to solve it. There's a lot of speculation in the media and among players about how exactly people are getting in, but no one except for the exploiters knows for sure. That said, Bethesda needs to act fast before it ruins the economy of the game. Which, it's, it's already too late, right? Like, it's ruined. So they wrote another email and sent it out to the Smurfs. <clears throat> uh, hello, Cheetah. Do you want to tell us how you did it and we might unban you? Please. <laughs> this is the saddest, most desperate shit in the world. No! No, no, no. They didn't ask the hackers to please explain how they hacked the game. <laughs> and we'll give you your Smurf account back. <laughs> please? Should we not hear back from you, the account will simply remain suspended. What the frick kind of punishment is that? It's not known whether this approach worked. But from what I've seen, it's still possible to get into the dev room. That's crazy. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god. November 22nd, 2018, just a week after the release. This is the a nightmare. I feel like they've accidentally created the perfect iteration of a, uh, a nuclear fallout game. Like, no rules, no laws. <laughs> Play fast and hard, bro, with the band hammer. The game goes on discount from 60 to 40 dollars this was a 60 dollar game and it was absolute garbage that's crazy to 35 to 30. Oh my Lord. you can find it for 15 on ebay and no! in germany they're straight up giving it for free when you buy a playstation control they're giving it a freebie with the playstation now also some stores are just zip tying it to other products <laughs> if you want the other product you're forced to take this too you're forced to take this off our hands but to Bethesda, it's worth selling the thing at a price close to zero. Because it brings people into the atomic shop, 
which is where the real margins are, and it inflates the poor sales figures. Let's have a look at those. The latest figures show 76 sold less than a sixth of what Fallout 4 did. Ah, shit, that's... that's a nightmare. And it was so hyped, bro. It was so hyped. Not good. There's also been a massive oversupply of hard copies. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Although, what's the point of a hard copy when the thing is just a cardboard disc telling you to redeem an online code? And while sales are low, yeah. returns yeah. are high. Immediately upon release, people began asking Bethesda for a refund. 76 is not on Steam. It's on That's crazy. Wow. Bethesda's own platform. So they So you can't get the freaking refund. You can't get a Steam refund if it's not on Steam. They knew the game was going to be a nightmare, so they just didn't put it on Steam. Have all the control. If players only played the game for a few hours, then generally they'd get their money back. This is at what point is this just counted as a scam? Like, I'm just asking, at what point is um, promising a good game and, and releasing, like, a pile of dog shit? Like, at what point does that count as, like, an actual financial scam? However, it came out that people were sometimes getting refunds after a full 24 hours of play. Quite generous. But then word about this spread to forums. Then to Reddit, and a post got 12,500 upvotes informing people that this made pretty much everyone eligible for a refund, and the comments told them exactly how to do it. No, Bethesda was flooded no. with requests for refunds. No. And their response? Shut it down, lads. No. No. No one gets a refund now. Everyone go home. Show's over. Robot customer service. Th this is literally breaking the guidelines. This is literally breaking the refund terms and service. This is wild. It's like actually wild. This man engage. Customers who have downloaded the game are not eligible for a refund. We apologize for the inconvenience. You can't just change your mind after people buy the game. You can't just later say, we've decided to revoke the refunds. Huh? It's like paying for a warranty and then or insurance, and then after some shit happens, they're like, yeah, we've decided to take back the insurance. Die. <laughs> a few things followed. First, people got mad. One hardcore gamer even trashed a GameStop for refusing his refund. Oh, God. Man, that's obviously... Insane. Okay, that's obviously unacceptable. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you for calling GameStop. This is Brian. How can I help you? A bit of an overreaction, but probably also fake. Second, the media. Bethesda's Fallout 7. Fallout 76 players are getting refunds despite no refunds policy. Mmm, interesting. Dude, this is a nightmare. And th dude, more people, dude, more people actually look, <laughs> more people looking up how to refund the game than how to download it. That is not a good way. A class action lawsuit. Their inconsistent oh, refund policy and terms of service may not be strictly legal. That's what I was saying. There's no way that's legal, right? If there are terms of service for like whatever the rules are for the refund, they have to apply. You can't feel like people are taking advantage of your refund and then be like, hey, we're, we're removing all refunds from the... That's a scam. That's an actual scam. November. I can't believe there was actually a lawsuit, though. Like, dude, Bethesda, you, you morons. The 27th, 2018. Miglachio and Rathod LLP filed a class action suit on behalf of customers. That is crazy. There was actually a class action lawsuit. <laughs> See, I, I feel like this is so justified because this is a scam. This is a scam. If you hype people up for years about something and, and promise all this shit and you don't deliver and people are paying for it and downloading it, then you have scammed these people. Media quickly picked up on that. Yeah, Their main argument is that it's a sometimes unplayable game owing to its... It is sometimes unplayable. I paid $60, not me. <laughs> crazy i paid 60 dollars for an unplayable game that is a scam i was promised something else this is literally a snake oil salesman technical problems then they're refusing refunds and that bethesda is engaged in a strategy to release it anyway and then slowly <laughs> pack gaming chair on a mattress. their way into a more playable state updates on this lawsuit are slow so i'll keep you informed on the second channel ad time all right
right. Look. Uh, by the way, I watched one Internet Historian video before. I skipped the ads. People flamed me. We are never skipping the ads of an Internet Historian video again. I apologize sincerely. I have gotten more hate and criticism for skipping an, a, an ad from an Internet Historian video th than I do on Twitter for, for I don't know, some someone calling me racist or something. There's a meteor headed straight to Earth. Oh, God. Oh my god. That's crazy. We must do something. Was anyone curious enough to read about it online? Not me. Not me either. Nope. Oh no! Now people think I'm dumb and I have died a virgin. What? Uh, what? Don't let this happen to you. Get Curiosity Stream. It's a streaming platform with some of the best what? documentaries and non-fiction from around the world. <laughs> Partial nudity? Maybe if you look hard enough. <laughs> He's selling an education website for the partial nudity. But more importantly, no. the most arousing thing of oh, all. Yes. Knowledge. No. Works for your Roku, Android, etc, etc. It works on everything, okay? Science, nature, history, tech. S Science, nature, history, unraveling the mystery, the mystery of the big boob. Society. CuriosityStream.com slash Internet Historian for unlimited access to all the- right, now I know why I got all the hate. This this was the greatest ad read of all time. The world's free top documentaries and non-fiction series. Use the promo code Internet Historian during the sign-up process to get the first 30 days free. Right. Then cancel any time. Wink. Oh, ho, ho. But, please, look, I need- I need sponsors. I- I bought a lifetime supply of toilet paper thinking I was saving money, but then I left it out in the rain and the crows got it. And now I'm back to square. All right, okay. All right, you know, all right, okay. One, please. Yeah, 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 yeah. Curious. I got 47 copyright claims in the last week, okay? I'm just saying. I got 47 copyright claims in the last week. Let's not talk about who needs money. Well, <laughs> go to patreon.com slash nuxtaco. Link in the description. Support your boy. 47 copyright claims. I'm just saying. Stream.com slash internet story. Ads over. Let's rewind it a little bit. Fallout fans made their pre-orders. Oh my god, is that Dream? And the most dedicated pre-ordered the Power Armor Edition. What? Wow. No shot. There was a there they made like an Uber Goober Gefluber edition of this of this game. Even though they knew it was like an absolute disaster. It came with a helmet, box, map, army toys, and a genuine West Tech canvas bag. Fast forward to the release, and customers notice that their precious bags, which are supposed to be made of the finest canvas and land, no, no. look Dude, a bit no, different. No, 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 in no, fact, no. it looks like a carry bag the real bag should come in. Oh my god. That's a nightmare. <laughs> this is worse than YouTuber merch! This is literally worse! Then YouTuber merch! Bruh. Do they really just it's crap? Just advertise one thing and deliver another? You wait, can't do that. Wait, that's illegal! That's what they did with their video game too! They an advertised a video game that works, and they delivered a video game that does not work! That is, that is a scam! What? So there was a surge of backlash, and people began e <laughs> The bag is nylon, not canvas. They lied. Mailing Bethesda, asking bruh, for refunds, bruh, asking bruh. for answers. By this you got scammed, bro. Point. Customer service is absolutely over it. They are done with the facade. <laughs> Just blood on the wall from where they shot themselves on the head, bro. This looks like, uh, yo, this <laughs> this looks exactly like Asmund Gold's room. <laughs> what? And they send this email in response. Hello. We are sorry that you aren't happy with the bag. The bag shown in the media was a prototype and was too expensive to make. We aren't planning on doing anything about it. There is no way that this was the response the bag was too expensive so we gave you shit instead and we're not doing anything about it suck a dick dumb shit there's no way this was the official corporate response <laughs> they just got dude this is worse than logan paul scams bro <laughs> this is literally worse than the crypto shit that the youtubers were all pulling <laughs> That's the whole email. Staff at Bethesda aren't even hiding their contempt anymore. Naturally, the internet goes wild. Are you fucking kidding me? Wow. Wow. Bro, even the quartering is upset now. That's crazy. Well, I got so mad. Oh my god, it's it's the it's the it's the pronouns guy. Shaved everything off my face. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's my reaction when I get mad as well. Okay, guys, this is a bit of a PR nightmare. We have to quell the outrage. What do we do? Bro, well, no. we've got this in-game currency. Let's just give them the minimum amount of that. Fantastic idea. <laughs> guys, we know we scammed you out of the thing that you bought. We know that you bought a, a Ferrari, expecting it to be a Ferrari, and we delivered you a smart car. However, we are giving you 100 Primo gems on your next 10 pull in Genshin Impact. Yeah. Hear ye, hear ye. Anyone who paid two to three hundred dollars for the Power Armor Edition is hereby entitled to five dollars worth of in-game currency. That's wild. That's insane. Can you imagine? <laughs> I can't even. I can't even picture this. I can't even picture this. You go to a restaurant and you want a great steak, okay? You pay a hundred and twenty dollars for a delicious ribeye steak from a five-star Michelin restaurant in Manhattan, okay? They give you a can of tuna fish and Monopoly money. Okay? That you'll be able to spend with us. 500 atoms? Fuck yeah! What are you gonna do with your atoms? I'm gonna buy 5 18ths of the white paint version of the power armor. No! Whoa! That's what about me. you? Light wood laminate, light wood laminate, light wood laminate. <gasps> Fuck the bag! He's right! Fuck the bag! Like wood lemonade, like wood lemonade, like wood lemonade, like wood lemonade, like wood This is insane. Of course, this was Bethesda's fantasy of what would happen. What really happened is further outrage. And even- and even Boogie got upset, and we know that Boogie is never upset. Media started piling on. Almost hellion. Where's Virginia? It even became part of that class action lawsuit from earlier. Oh, that lawsuit's just getting more and more- steam right now bro that snowball is rolling down the cliff and it is never stopping oh yeah bethesda put out a tweet apologizing for their curt customer service and gave a different excuse for why they didn't make them thank you for contacting me sir the customer support my name is nicholas i'd be happy to help you today to the unavailability of materials we had to switch a nylon carrying in case of fallout 70 the power arm edition we hope that doesn't prevent anyone from enjoying what feels like one of our best collector's editions not like that response is much better bro H how is that response any better that response is, we know we promised you one thing, but we decided to give you something else instead. Bags. A shortage of material, apparently. What does that even mean? What does that even mean? We know we, uh, you know, we, we know when you gave us $300,000 when you ordered the Ferrari, we, uh, we promised giving you a Ferrari, but when we gave you a Ford Explorer, um, we, uh, just ran out of Ferrari materials. It wasn't easy. That was quickly debunked. Because it turns out, they did make the canvas bag. What? Except they gave them all out. To influencers. That is fucking evil. That's evil. That's that actually that they knew exactly what they were doing. They knew they were committing fraud. They knew this was actually a scam. They know it's a scam. Oh dear. It's not the same one, of course. But it's sourced from that Ooh. ever scarce material. Canvas. But what's more It's crazy. They made the bag to give it to YouTubers to promote the bag. So that when other people buy the bag, they get freaking garbage. Using ...is that it turns out there is a canvas bag in the game. If you don the postman's outfit, okay. which of course can be found at the Atom Shop, for 700 atoms. You're telling me that they gave you, as a refund for cheating you on the fake bags, they gave you in-game currency that isn't even enough to buy an in-game cosmetic bag. That, that That's amazing, honestly, that's just awesome. The balls Ooh, just short. Well, the bleating from the online community continued and Bethesda's lawyers realized there would be trouble. So they decided to capitulate. All right, fine, we'll make your precious fucking bag. If you want to claim it, you'll have to fill out this form with your name, personal details, address, etc. <laughs> we might dox you, uh, but that would be an accident, Wink. And we'll ship out the bag to you in four to six months. They were never planning on supplying the thing that they advertised, right? Like, it's pretty, pretty obvious that they, from day one, they planned on advertising a really good bag and planned on delivering absolute dog shit for better margins. Like, there's no doubt that that is what they planned. But it doesn't quite end there. Because Bethesda is known for bugs, and of course their website is a buggy mess too. Right. Turns out all of the customer support inquiries are unsecure and open to the public. 
In fact, people can open and close and change them at will. Listed are details of full legal names, phone numbers, home addresses, and more. If you've requested your canvas bag, you've just been doxxed. That's what I said. <laughs> it's a dox. It's literally just a dox simulator. <laughs> you have to literally give them your entire dox to get it, and then they just post it publicly. I feel. I feel like there's no way. I don't. I don't understand how this dumpster fire got this bad. Like at some point, did any of them just realize maybe we should just not? That's crazy. That's crazy. Like just think of the timeline. The timeline's insane. If you get this with the super ultra kit for extra money, we will get you a canvas bag. They deliver the bag. It's not canvas. They made the canvas bags, but only for the YouTubers to help promote the scam. Then they complain. Don't say pre-watched. <laughs> I'm just used to this. Every time someone tells you to fill out your zip code, I immediately jump to doxing, okay? Like how impressive is this level of not giving a shit? Whee! Not knowing how to immediately fix the problem, Bethesda panics and temporarily shuts down the whole website. <laughs> this is awful, bro. Awful. And that is the tale of the duffel kerfuffle. Great name, but god damn. How could this have been so difficult? They made one for New Vegas. One last piece of merch, a rum drink. Nuka Cola. There, there was another drink. There was another piece of merch that, that failed. The dark. Pre-orders available in September. Shipped out on November 14th. $80 plus postage and handling. Not cheap. But in not return- Not at all, dude. That, that's not cheap at all. This is Pokemon cookies level. You got a very cool bootle. Looks good on the shelf. A great conversation piece with the family over Thanksgiving. Or at least it would have been. No, 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 no. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way they didn't deliver it. <laughs> November 14th no. came and went, and there was no rum. Wait, they just didn't get it? Uh, they paid for okay. it? No, no. A week later on November 21st, an email comes through. There's a delay. Things aren't up to the okay. usual fallout standard, they say. The usual fallout standard of giving you knockoffs. What, what does that mean? How could you be below the standard? We've seen the standards on everything else. The usual fallout standard. <laughs> no. All of this just works. Things aren't up to the usual fallout standard. So we'll have it for you soon. No specific date. No. <laughs> how did they? How is Bethesda still a company? How didn't they lose their their actual asses on this lawsuit? Given. One week later. Nothing. Right. Then on December fifth, another email. Good news. We start shipping on December twelfth. If Dude, they spent eighty dollars on this. The shipping starts a month after they were supposed to get it? It's been nearly three months since you pre-ordered. But as a show of good faith, we made this promotional video for you. And this is where things went from tardy to retardy. <laughs> That's a great expression. <laughs> what? Right there. Did you catch that? That's just a regular industry bottle and a plastic shell. We paid $80 in waste bottle and a plastic shell. We Bro, there's no way. <laughs> there's just no way. Like, this is egregious, right? This is like one of the greatest scams in the history of time. Th this is a huge scam. That's crazy. I I'm like blown away. <laughs> yeah, that's insane. <laughs> I just... <laughs> I just did a quick Google search. <laughs> I'm gonna get so cancelled for this. I just wanted to see if Todd Howard was Jewish. <laughs> and of course he is. Every time. Why? Why? <laughs> no, it's not even fair. It's not even fair. I keep losing. I keep losing, bro. It's not even fair, dude. Oh my god, this is the worst day ever. No. We paid $80 and waited a quarter of a year for a plastic shell? That's crazy. People were not happy. This is, everything's a scam. Every part of this game was a scam. Happy. Look at that ratio. Yo, Bull Moose Entrapment, thanks for the five gifted subs. <laughs> Nothing in the marketing said that it was a plastic shell. Super premium, we were promised. And the media agreed. <laughs>
people I just sensed it. You don't understand. They sensed it. It was just it was just too many layers to this onion. And I was like, yeah, I smell that. I smell it. <laughs> no, no, my brother, why? We began canceling their orders. Silver Screen tries to convince people that it's not cheap and shitty. It actually costs us twice as much to make the plastic one than the glass one. Oh, you fucking lying bullshit son of a jackass. I hate that excuse so much. I literally hate that excuse so much, dude. I know I promised you something and I gave you something else instead, but the thing, the other thing I gave you was actually better than the thing I promised you originally. Really? Then what the fuck? We, we spent a hundred hours coding the design. Convincing stuff. So it arrives, just a few days before uh. Christmas. The rum is about the quality you'd expect. I swear on this, it's my own show. No, no. Worse is the design. The oversized lip means liquid can pour inside the shell. This is the worst thing I've ever seen. This is the worst thing I've ever seen. This is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. Hard to pour because how they made this damn thing. I spilled like half the shot. Very dribbly. So you're best off opening the whole thing up to prevent spilling. If you do that, there's a good chance that you'll snap the flimsy plastic. Any liquid will em- It just breaks it if you remove it. This is the worst thing. This is the worst thing I've ever seen. I'm like actually so sad. How is this a real thing? I, I can't believe- Immediately it. ruined this cheap paper sticker. Some made their own at home and the quality was about on par. But look, if you do want a decent version of this product, there are reputable sellers of them. They're on Etsy. They're far- They're on Etsy. The fucking Temu Etsy crap knockoffs are better. Cheaper, and they actually give a shit. Not gonna lie though, some of the memes that came out of this were Yo! pretty good. It's crazy. Now, many claim that this was an honest mistake. Sorry. Or that customers were at fault for missing- Dude, listen, there cannot be this many honest mistakes. One mistake happens. Two mistakes could be a coincidence. Three mistakes? That is a motherfucking pattern, okay? This is the 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 Vosh supports lolly horse porn uh, and defends pedophilia and, and child porn a thousand different occasions, okay? Dude, at some point, at some point, it becomes a goddamn pattern. Interpreting ambiguous marketing. I disagree. All of the marketing shows other glass items. All of the mock-ups show something more akin to frosted glass than plastic. They give plenty of descriptions of the product too, and not once do they mention plastic. And they were engaged in a bunch of other tomfuckery as well. Before the product was even available, they flooded their own product reviews with a bunch of five stars. Of course, obviously. Embrace democracy or you will be eradicated. Communism is temporary setback on the route to freedom. <laughs> no way. The the bot responses that they posted. They posted their own five-star reviews. And on their own reviews. Let me get this straight. On their own reviews. They didn't even compliment the drink. This raised some eyebrows. And people on Reddit even called them out for it. So they deleted them. You can see all this activity on the way back machine. Now, if they're happy to uh, deceive people in this way, it seems silly to give them the benefit of the doubt about the glass. Yeah, it would. It's also worth quickly talking about the Bethesda merch store. Some of these items are pretty neat. That's cool. Good idea. Is it a good idea, though? I'd have that. Fallout 76 pant. Singular. But why is he so <laughs> mad? The photography is all just slightly off. This gaudy jacket was mocked re this is I mean, is it? Relentlessly on social media. <laughs> it just looks like an Ikea bag. Ain't no way. Ain't no way, dude. Oh, no! But does the 76 in $276... $276? Are you kidding me? No. $276 for that Ikea bag? Really make it more immersive. And why did they just toss it on the ground? And it comes in this crumpled up toddler body bag. You're talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars in merch and you don't have an eye on? Why is she wearing the size XXL? She's clearly not happy about it. But who looked at this and said, good job, print. Oh God, dude, I'm getting scared. I'm getting spooked. Now that's surprising. And what the fuck? They made the bottle properly. 
Yeah, one of those, please. But bigger and brown. Is that so hard? I'm like actually ashamed. This is, this is humiliating. Let's get back to the game. December 2018. All right, all right, all right. Enough of the scummy marketing tactics and scams. There are two new patches released that caused quite a stir. First, the good. For PC, they included a number of quality of life improvements, including push. What, like medical assisted suicide? To talk. But it also brought in field of view sliders. Oh my god, this just came from Digital Circus. Hooray! Increased stash capacity from 400 pounds to 600 pounds, and a small buff to automatic weapons. Hooray! Okay, these these are really minor things. They decreased the carry weight of bobby pins so it no longer took up 10 to 20% of people's inventory. I mean, that's definitely a good move, but it, it begs the question why it wasn't like that before. I got a box of bobby pins the other week that said, that said, weigh these. <laughs> there were also upgrades to the camp that allowed for easier construction and a bunch of bug fixes. Hooray. The bad. A whole bunch of unannounced stealth nerfs. They generally made the game grindier. Ammo production was decreased. Fusion cores oh. burnt out fast. You never change a game to make it grindier. Can you imagine if they, they changed Pokemon and they just made every every time you beat a Pokemon, you just get less experience? Can you imagine something like that? You play Elden Ring, except farming runes takes double as long. Like, uh, could, could, no shot. They went back and they... Why? Faster. Legendary enemies spawned less frequently. On guard, I'll fuck you up. And the backlash was significant because everybody knew why Bethesda was doing it. To encourage people to use the atomic shop. No, no, no. And let's talk briefly about that store. Some of the prices are outrageous. A Christmas tree for $12. What? A Santa outfit for $20. Blue and yellow paint for $18. This is insane. Dollars. Oh look, $3 for the same sweater vest and slacks item imported from Fallout 4. But the biggest offense of all was the holiday emote bundle. $24 for some Christmas themed emotes. Twice the price of these games. <laughs> Wait. The, 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 the emotes were double the price of all these other games. Oh my god. The media agreed that these were egregious prices. But worse, they're engaged in some deceiving marketing practices too. Oh look, it's marked down half price. But it's not. It was released half price. They're artificially ja I mean, I feel like everyone does that at this point, right? Everyone releases things for a certain price and then just, um, you know says oh it's 20% off backing up the price only to then give it a fake limited time discount in order to create a sense of urgency that's illegal here in australia at least in canada and in the eu reddit quickly picked up on this and point I'm pretty sure in america it's everywhere right i feel like everyone does that i can't remember a time anything was released ever well, that wasn't released with a discount. Did it out. Bethesda reacted by scrapping the discount and just setting it as the always intended price. Dude, you fucking scumbags. That's crazy. Okay, it's been about 25 minutes of whining now, so I'm just going to leave it here. I didn't even get a chance to touch on the new pay to win fiasco. The new oh. camera item that lets you teleport. Dwindling player numbers. But on the flip side, they're also adding new content and improving the game over time. That's Heck. No Man's Sky was a surprising comeback. So, maybe Bethesda can do it too. Oh god, dude. Just real. But it's for now, nightmare. Todd returns to cryostasis. Oh. Hiding in his oh. bunker until the bombs of outrage oh. stop falling. Proceed and returning complete. only when it's time yeah. to get our hopes up once again. Can you imagine that being your legacy? The hype man for an absolute disaster? That's awful. That's awful. It was a great video. CuriosityStream.com slash internet historian. Alright, got it.
Not many people know this, but I'm actually quite a good rap artist. Rapist, <laughs> if you will. No, I, I will not. I will not. I, w I will absolutely not. So I'm going to say all these names for you from the credits as fast as I possibly can in time with the scrolling. Here we go. One take. Just deal. Miles Millican, Justin Rowling. Oh, and with Steve Rizzo. Drud well, he tried. Um, yo, that was a great video. Um, shit, dude. That that is a nightmare of a launch. I have. N this is. These are scams. How are they not just sued to oblivion? I have no idea. How are they not just absolutely annihilated in lawsuits? How is this company still functioning after something like this? I don't know, and I will never know. 10,000 likes for more Fallout lore or more Internet Historian videos. Let me know what you want to see in the comments. Bye. Bye. If you made it to the end, click one of these two videos, which also will definitely get me canceled. See you live on Game. Stay weird, fam.